Hey guys, it's May May, and today I'm bringing you a tip. And the reason I am is because anytime I share this tip during a video, so many people comment that it is a game changer and it's some stuff I want to discuss with you in case you're struggling with scoring, okay? So if you're like me and you use something a little chubbier than super fine, you know, like the tools that come with these boards or the finer boards, I tend to use my Teflon or I tend to use my embossing tool. And when you do that, when you score on a scoreboard, let's look at what it does. So this piece of cardstock is not the average size. It's just a scrap from Ben. And I'm going to score this in half and show you this, okay? So this piece is eight and a half, so I'm going to score it at four and a quarter. So if I come right here and score it four and a quarter, it does not matter which one I use, my embossing tool or this one. I want to show you. Once I've scored it, and you guys all know that I score by, I mean, I fold by scoring on the top and then folding over. We've already had that discussion. <laughs> If I air fold, which means if I just pay attention to the score line and just fold on the score line, more times than not, I am not going to get an even fold at the end. Let me do this and show you what I mean. You see how at the end now, I don't have an even fold and I'm even extremely crooked with my fold? That's that whole air score thing. The first thing you want to do is not score in the air. Let me get another scrap and show you what I mean. So let's do the score again. So this is four and a quarter, so I need to do two and an eighth to do it in half, okay? Now, because I use the wider piece, my score mark is very wide, okay? Which means when I go to fold it, it can land anywhere in that score mark. It can land on this side of it, or it can land on this side of it. And more than likely, I'm going to have the width of my score mark down here at the end. It's not the end of the world. You can just trim that off. But let me show you how I get rid of that. We're not going to air score anymore. We're going to take our piece and we're going to put it into our scoreboard using this um, stop right here to help us. And we're not going to worry about the score line itself at all. We're going to take this over and line it up where it needs to be. See this? I'm lining it up on the stop with the page underneath it. And then holding it, I'm going to score where I am. Now, here's what just happened. I basically told this piece of cardstock, I want you to fold in the middle of that wide score line. Therefore, I get a clean, straight score here. And I get a clean score here because I just have to tell it where to go inside of that score line. This is not as big of an issue if you use a thinner bone folder. But because mine's wide, I can really get off about an eighth of an inch if I'm not careful. That's one of the tips I wanted to show you today. The second tip I want to show you is cardstock like this. See how thick this cardstock is? Now I want to show you. Let's score it like normal. So this is um, an A2 size card. So I'm going to score this in half at five and a half using my bone folder. And I always go over twice, okay? I'm not going to air fold. We already know that's a bad technique. We're going to fold in our board. So I'm going to bring this over and line it up, okay? And I'm also going to use my bone folder to crease this down. Now, I want to show you this, all right? This is a decent fold. Do you see that? It's a decent fold. It's not bad. There's a little bit of wiggling right here. And sometimes it will crack with these thicker papers when we score. So here's what you do to make sure you avoid that. And this works with any cardstock. This is the same cardstock I just showed you, okay? We're gonna score it at five and a half, but the way we're gonna do away with any possibility of cracking or anything like that is to flip this over and do it again. So this time we're gonna score on the back side. So we're doing it at the same spot. And what we've done is we've really changed the fiber of the paper. Rather than it being just one side we scored, now we've changed the fiber on both sides. So now when we put it into the end of our scoreboard to fold, and notice how I am lining the sides up as well, okay? Then I press down here. There is virtually 0% chance I'm going to get any cracking or creasing. Look how pretty that is. That's a great one. You see it? Let me see if you can see the difference. It's so minute. It's so minute. And it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> but you can see here there's a little bit of funniness there where it doesn't exist on this one because we did the double score. Also, look how clean that lays down and this one kind of pops. Isn't that nice? So... Many of you have probably seen that tip. That is probably not new to you because you watch my videos. But a lot of you guys don't watch every video. And sometimes these tips happen in the video. And this is one that every time I talk about it, people really comment below, oh, wow, I never thought of that. Oh, wow, that really helps me. Now, if you'd like to see why I score my paper this way versus the under way, because some people, you know, crease on the top and fold under. 
I crease on the top and fold back. If you want to see that, we have a video about that one already, and I'll link that for you in the description so you can check that one out too. So I hope that helps you in your scoring. And, and for card makers, it can kind of be a deal breaker for us. We don't really like all the wrinkly edges, and it's especially true if you have a white core cardstock where it's colored on the top, but it's a different color in the middle, and when you're scoring, you get those creases and cracks. You can really see it. That double scoring is a good way to get rid of that. All right, guys, I hope that helps you. A little tip for this week. Every now and then, we need to just, just have a little tip thrown in there. So, Tell me in the comments below if that's how you score, or maybe you have a score tip. Put it in the description. Let us know in the comments below. Maybe you have a great score tip I need to learn myself. Have a great one, guys, and until next time, bye now.